when the disaster comes, it's going to affect everyone. With funding from the Organization of American States, the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, facilitated a Community Emergency Response Team, or CERT, training program to further empower local communities with the know-how and skill sets to prepare for and also mitigate the impact of natural hazards. CERT participants underwent five days of basic, theoretical and practical disaster preparedness and disaster management exercises. So we're teaching them a number of skills from life-saving skills, basic first aid, basic CPR, basic land and search rescue, how to use a fire extinguisher. Um, we're teaching them disaster psychology. Most persons negate the need for psychology after the disaster or even during it. And PTSD, we can see, is affecting many people across the region. Now, again, we're giving them just the basics. And if they understand the basics, that foundation makes it easy for the professional to come in and build upon it and make everything better for everyone. Nemo targeted West Coast-based tourism industry stakeholders, including tour operators and hospitality workers, to undergo the initial CERT training program. I'm a tour guide at Gropito and I believe that um, whatever I've learned here has helped me tremendously in terms of um, preparing for a disaster before and after. And also I could also um, help my peers, labors, etc. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, <laughs> 10 being very well, 1 being I need more, more training. How much would you say with your, your, your knowledge on disaster preparedness and emergency management? Well, my um, knowledge about um, Disaster preparedness at the moment, I will say about seven. And this okay. score now? And this, score, um, this, this, this training now? This training from, from seven, it brought it up to eight and a half. <laughs> yes, right. so there I am thankful about it because our company, we have been in existence for about 10 years now and we're looking to go even further. So with the training, with the training, I'm looking forward to assist our and other um, workers as well. Right. With that, I am there in this training there as well. So thank you very much. See what would happen if you throw water on oil fire. All right. It comes out like I'm um, spraying fuel or gasoline on a fire. Upon completion of the CERT program, the participants would have attained new and improved disaster response skill sets, ranging from disaster response planning and management coordinating post-disaster medical operations and best practices in fire safety. In using the fire extinguisher, there's an acronym PASS. P in PASS is to pull the safety pin. Okay. A, you aim at the base of the fire. Your first S, you squeeze your trigger. Expanding local access to disaster management training programs such as CERT can also alleviate the national emergency management system. Take for example, we in Force Jacques. Force Jacques during Thomas and even Debbie, they were locked out from the wider community, especially Nemo and the other professionals, for hours. Some places even for days. But this training would ensure that whoever is in there, the first trained responders can help build that resilience for Nemo. It will definitely shape in the response of everybody going forward because if you have a good foundation it makes it easy to build and if everyone takes this this training seriously and we know that they are and if every community that we go to we can get persons to volunteer to come in it's gonna make it a lot easier for them because when they know what the professionals are looking for it makes it easier for when the professionals come in to make to come in and mitigate or prevent further damage. Opening a CERT training program to community-based public and private sector entities can further strengthen the island's national disaster preparedness and disaster management response. From the office of the Prime Minister, Brigadier.